Mother's Day, Mothering Sunday. Across the world, men have used, and still do use, religion, philosophy, culture, tradition, politics and their brute strength to abuse, violate, control and disrespect women. On Mother's Day, men pretend they honour their mothers. It's a dangerous charade. While trinkets are exchanged, sweet words are uttered, meals are shared, mothers are giving birth amidst the rubble of men's war. Starving, they have no milk with which to suckle their newborns, oppressed. They are confined to their homes, barred from school, university and employment, forced to cover themselves in public, treated like domestic slaves, paid less, represented less and promoted less, regarded as subservient. And all because men have created their male gods in their own image. Male focused religions and patriarchal cultures, traditions, employment practices and political systems to serve their base desires. Men are bullies. Their male gods are monsters. All their systems and structures are self-serving masculine tools to dominate and denigrate women. But none of us would exist were it not for our mothers. We grew safe, protected, nurtured and sustained, lodged sweetly for those nine formative months. All babies, whatever their gender, are equal, born to have equal access to, enjoyment of and influence over every aspect of life. How perverse then that boy babies would instead become brute men returning adult years later to bind their mothers up in the chains of their abusive regard towards women. This outrage must stop. It's time to truly celebrate Mother's Day and rid ourselves of our male gods, our male-centred religions, our male-written holy books, our male-led prayers, our male-dominated patriarchal governance, laws and requirements, our male egos, wars, conflicts, weapons and megalomaniacal pretensions, our male-driven animalistic desires to satisfy ourselves at any cost. It's time for men to kneel in penitence before their mothers, for how they have so desperately abused them over the eons of time, and finally surrender up to them the long overdue moral mandate of comprehensive equality. <laughs>